Hey you beautiful people, it's Lupita and this is my lens. Welcome back to another video. So, hey, hi, hello. As you can tell from the title, we're about to do a really cute little mermaid look that you see here. I hope you guys like it and enjoy. This video is really hard to film. I was like rushing. I am rushing currently. So, yeah. If it's like kind of bad, don't judge me. I tried really hard. <laughs> I'm not like a makeup artist not in the least. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, the whole thing, turn on a bell. Turn on a bell because <laughs> otherwise you won't see me ever again. I swear it's just what happens. I don't know what to tell you. It's unfortunate but it's true. So turn on a bell and yeah I love to see you here again and without further ado let's get right into the video. Hi! So today we're about to do my eyeshadow. So I'm already wearing like makeup concealer, um, bronzer, the whole thing. Um, and I'm trying to be quick because I only have like 40 minutes and you think that's a lot but it's not when you're filming a video. So I'm just putting this because I am using color today. Yeah, and I'm excited and I'm scared and I'm excited. I don't know, I just... I'm finding my love for makeup again, which makes me happy and excited. I have the picture on here. I'll like put it up on the screen. Okay, cool. So I just have to do blue on the crease. That's so crazy. Just using color out here. Okay, I'm going to try to use, I think, these two because they're kind of like pretty lighty blues. This is like TikTok makeup. So I'm excited and afraid. Um, oh girl, I almost forgot my primer. That's a rookie mistake. Let me get in here. One of these days I will do my makeup all over again, like, you know, on this new camera because I haven't done like a full full face for you guys um in a while and I've never done it with of this kind of quality so yeah that I was gonna do it today but then like my time got cut really really short and I still wanted to film it because I've been trying to film it for months is that like just powder on my eye and I just always avoid it because obviously it's color and I'm kind of scared so yeah I just haven't been doing it but yeah, I don't have much to talk about I'm gonna go see my friends don't worry we've both been quarantined so we're good yeah oh my god I'm so scared <laughs> okay about the shadow by the way oh my god <laughs> this is so patchy was this a mistake should I have done something more safe probably but like we're already here, so yake mija, yake. So this is like a little cute mermaid moment. <laughs> I'm not good at like shadow, like, no. I don't know how people place it so perfectly. I mean, I know you have to have like time and patience, which is two things that I always, always lack. You know, like I know, um, I've seen the makeup people talk about it. <laughs> I know, I know what my mistakes are, but like, what else can I do? This is Coastal Scents, by the way, that's why it's like not as pigmented, not as cute. I think I have this little cute BH Cosmetics and I did like the opposite color wheels and oh girl that one was pretty I did that yesterday I was just like I guess I want to play with color for some reason while I'm going to work it's been a while since I like cared to do like cute shadow for work so like cute and simple something that I can do quickly because obviously I don't have time for that so yeah so I watched this movie it's called the invisible guest Stephanie Sue talked about it and it like has some plot twists 
I'm gonna do a little spoiler alert right now because I am gonna talk about it. Like, why not? I guess I recommend it because it does kind of like it completely tricks you. Like, I completely forgot how the the story went, but yeah. Um, like when Stephanie Sue put it on her channel. That's what I meant. What was I saying? <laughs> Yeah, well, when Stephanie Sue showed it, I completely forgot what it was about, you know? Like, I forgot the ending, which is pretty good, because I could be shocked like my parents were, I suppose, because I watched it with them. I love color. Okay. So, basically, like, you're rooting for this dude the whole time. Well, I think that was the point, you know? You get his vantage point. You kind of trust in him and stuff. And then at the end, it's just all a ruse, and he was the bad guy the whole time. Like, the whole time. Yeah, it was it was freaking wild. Like, he ended up being uh, a murderer and everything, which was crazy. But, like, at the end, you're not even satisfied because since it was in his perspective, even if you know he's evil, you're like, damn, like, I hate these people, though, even though they're in the right. So that's why I was just like, I don't know if I like it, like, I feel like if it was told from a different perspective, I don't know about that stuff, like, perspectives, but you know, like, there are good thriller movies that, like, hella get you, and you root for the right people, and they still manage to trick you. So, yeah, that's, like, my point. I think this is thriller, right? Um, uh, Flight Plan, I think that's what it's called. Um, I that's one of my mom's favorite. It's kind of like... A mother's love for her child because she goes on a flight with her kid and then at the end her kid like disappears and she's like where's my kid and people are like you didn't come with the kid and ironically like it worked so that everybody somehow didn't see her kid like throughout the whole movie so it's like she's kind of questioning herself obviously the audience is questioning themselves like was she there was she daydreaming about like this kid that she never had or maybe she lost or something and then, at the end, obviously, again, spoiler alert, not really, it's pretty old, so, I don't know. Her kid was there the whole time, and, like, a few, like, passengers, like, really, really didn't believe her. They would, like, kind of look at her apologetically and stuff, and she's like, yeah, that's my baby girl. So her kid ended up being, like, in some weird part of the plane that, like, people usually aren't in just like knocked out with her like teddy bear or something so yeah it was a wild wild movie i really liked it personally it's my favorite and i really want to buy it for my mom but it is kind of pricey because it's a good it's a good suspense movie it's just good what can i say okay that's as good as that's gonna get like i'm trying to make sure it's kind of like even <laughs> I'm just rushing. I'm really sorry, but I am. I'm rushing. Clearly, I'm not a makeup artist. Like, I love makeup, but the whole, like, science side of makeup really bores me, which is so mean, but it does. Like, that's why it's, like, it's not my craft. Like, props to y'all who can do it. I, for a long time, thought that that was kind of my thing, but then, like, I got a book of makeup for school, um, I don't know, it was like a quote unquote legacy thing for high school. I was depressed on mine, so that's what I did, I just saved up. I think I did like a fundraiser, saved up, and then that's what I gave to the school, like hella makeup books, so that was pretty cool. And when I had it on my desk, like all these girls were so freaking interested, and I was just like, are you sure you look kind of boring? They're like, yeah. So I'm like, maybe I don't like makeup as much as I thought I did. Ooh, pretty. I put a different green because that one's, I think, too dark. Ta-da! <laughs> Hi. I'm super quiet. I'm so sorry. But... Yes. Just very afraid and focused. Yeah. I don't 
really like putting color on the under eye. It's just my personal preference. Especially red. I'm sorry for you people who love red on the under eye, but I just cannot for the life of me. Like it makes, in my opinion, makes you look sick. A lot of people agree and still like the looks. So I'm just like, well, <laughs> if that's what you're going for. I'm gonna put some glitters, these ones, and it's just literally wet glitter, which is so bad. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, let me just take it from the top here. By the way, this is not for, I think it's from Tarte, and it is not for the eyes. So yeah, I'm just out here risking my life. I can't believe this can't be on your eyes because it is so pretty. I mean, it makes sense because um, these glitters are probably like so bad if they were to get inside your eyeball. So it makes sense. <laughs> this looks so bad. Uh, uh, yeah, this is Tarte. It's called Moonwalk by Tarte. And it's the same glitter that I used on my face in my Ariana tour look thing okay so i'm gonna use elf and i'm gonna use this really sparkly pink just cuz literally just cuz <laughs> that looks so bad so far so bad but hopefully like i mean eyeliner and lashes usually fix everything so i'm hoping Ugly. <laughs> Liner time. Will I use this footage? God only knows. I swear you can't tell, but I tried, okay? I really did try. It's ugly, but <laughs> I tried. At least they're kind of even. They're ugly. Like, they're ugly. <laughs> but they're even ish. ish. So I'm looking for my lashes because, again, I'm hoping that'll help. Yeah, I don't know where I put my lashes. Um, I have like these really nice tart ones. These are my babies and I want to use them when I like actually know how to put on freaking lashes and right now like I'm really really bad at it so yeah unfortunately that's that on that okay I think I found okay yeah I got some Sephora ones in here honestly I can't believe I have to go out in this wake up I'm really really embarrassed So let me just do some finishing touches. I'm not gonna wear this shirt out, but I really don't know what I'm gonna wear, so I'm not gonna show you guys that. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I like combing it out a little bit because I don't like it being so perfect. mascara because my bottom lashes they need it <laughs> I got this really nice uh, radiant shine ultra beauty 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 um kind of like balm it's really pretty though and it's I think it's like nine bucks I've been super obsessed with it it's really really pretty and since it is a balm, it like really just like it's gonna keep you my lips 
hella hydrated, which I love. And then I'm using this e.l.f. lip lip la la <laughs> lip lacquer in mauve glitz. Y'all know how much I love e.l.f. lip lacquers. Lip lacquers. If you don't, now you do. Go get yourself one, like the clear gloss one. Chef's kisses. <laughs> They're just so velvety, oh my god, like, mm. they feel so good, I love them. <laughs> Anyways, before I forget, I need to highlight, literally I almost forgot, like, one of my favorite steps. This one is Pearlized by um, Colourpop, I love Colourpop. I used to like not like cream highlights, but these ones are just so nice and velvety and actually do like kind of last and they're just so like they can be blinding i think you can definitely build them up they can also be shiny like a more natural looking one it'll look like just a really pretty healthy glow which i'm really more into and have been into as of late there's one that like i don't use that much because I was using it too much and I don't care, I'll keep using it for as long as I can because it is so beautiful. But I did get it like years ago. <laughs> so there's that. So I'm gonna just spray this down with some all nighter. And you know, with the lashes and everything, like it's grown on me. It's not my favorite. Like, obviously, I brushed it and these like glitters right there are making my eye look so weird to me is that better that's a little better right i don't know i just i don't know if i like it but like just the glitters but i think it ended up pretty okay i don't know what you guys think let me know in the comments down below i'm sorry for being so low energy not really talking again i just didn't have any talking points and then i was like rushing but i hope you guys still enjoyed this video if you want more like this with like better commentary let me know <laughs> tell me if you guys like this look and let me know if you try it y'all already know where i got the inspo from and yeah let's show her our take on it because hers is obviously so much better like mm, chef's kisses like makeup artists so talented i love you guys um but yeah hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe become a lupita lander get your citizenship you know your passport the whole shebang because otherwise you'll never see me again you know like put on a bell if you forget that part it's like you never subscribed it sucks but it's true um but yeah i love you i'm lupita this is my land welcome to look at that. Bye guys. <laughs>